there, he's done the whole carriage, which will start at the front all the way down. And if you had longer, he would do the whole train in gold and black paint. Uh, there's several different tags, so this is now pointing to the fact that it's not just one person. There's possibly two or three people doing the same same design, so it may be there may be four or five people out there tonight. At King's Cross, Rail Cop Sergeant Paul Rowe and PC Claire Saunders are getting ready for an undercover operation. Their target, persistent graffiti artists at a rail depot in North London. Graffiti trains are a hugely expensive problem. What we also take into consideration is they're having to pay people overtime to take the graffiti off. So when we, when we put a, a charge into court, uh, one thing that we do also put on for compensation is not just the, the fact of cleaning the graffiti, the, the cost of employing six people on overtime to clean the graffiti off. Um, so we're talking about thousands and thousands of uh, pounds worth of damage. The news I'm not going to get cold. Well, I heard you're going to be cuddling Santa or not. What's wrong with my hat anyway? For Paul, it's the start of a very long night. Paul and his King's Cross team have arrived at the North London train depot. It's a known haunt for graffiti artists. I'll leave it to your uh, knowledge to pick your best point. But when I was in there the other day, there's a lot of brambles and stuff, sharp ones. It's an all-night stakeout. Claire's on lookout duties further down the line. We're doing observations in the Welling Garden City area. Um, all I need to do is need to get a couple of blokes across the main line just so they can observe from the embankment on the other side. Um, are they clear to cross? Paul's decided that the team will lie in wait yeah, hidden in the bushes. But first, they have to cross the tracks. The trains are still running and the power's still on. It's dangerous. All right, I'll have a look back in 10 minutes. I'll ring you back. All right, cheers. After three hours in the bushes, Paul changes the plan. We're at this embankment at the moment, <laughs> and what we're going to do, we're going to change position, going to go into the train. Well, no, it's not getting cold. It's just not, it's not um, the most comfortable spot, so we're all getting stung. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go into the train on um, line eight. At the graffiti stakeout, Paul has now been hiding for four hours. It looks like this will be a wasted night. Go, 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 towards you! It's Auntie Claire, your way! Paul's team catch one man by the tracks, but the others have escaped. Where's your mate gone? I've got, I'm on my own. So, what, what are you doing in there then? Paul, oh, take this jumper off. Huh? Sorry? Take this jumper. Yeah. Has he been arrested? Oh, yeah, no, I've left it to Paul. At this time, I'm arresting you in suspicion of criminal damage. You don't have to say yeah, anything, but to be in defence if you do not mention when questioned. Something that you later on in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence. Understand? Yeah, yeah, I understand, but All I don't right. know what you're doing me for, because I just sat down and I just had a firm of people running at me. A minute. Double cough. It's really That's hurting my wrist. Of course I'm going to run there. You see, he had a camera um, on him. Yeah, he has. He's yeah, got the camera now. I saw the it's it's in pocket, pocket, but also saw whoever's all there taking a picture of the train as well. OK. Uh, might be evidence on it. Digital camera. Yeah, there's nothing on it. I haven't taken any photos of there at all. No, I know it ain't the one. What did we do? I want a dog. Right, that's for a dog. Well, we, we're not sure that the other person ran that way. We I don't know where he's gone. He went into the darkness. I lost him. Well, was it we... just two, was it? There's one. I think he's our IC3. Yeah. And he's got uh, like a, a blue speckled. Um, handkerchief over him. Yeah. But last I saw he was running up this track. Well he definitely didn't pass us. Yeah. He definitely did not pass us on the track. No, he's still on the track. 
What? The bloke is... He's got to be. He's in here somewhere. Do right, let's grab a kilo five six. Do you want us I to go in? I rang a few minutes ago to some regarding a, a dog unit on the hurry up to Welling Garden City. There won't be any dogs on there. We've got we've got um, observations on for graffiti, and we've got two outstanding suspects somewhere trackside. All right then, cheers, bye. <sighs> Fell over on the track. All lines are blocked, so you ain't got no problems. Okay. The search dog has arrived for the manhunt. All right. Yeah, all the way along. Paul is convinced that at least one graffiti artist is still hiding on the tracks. Yeah. yeah. Then the dog makes a discovery. Sorry. Superb. Well. Green rucksack. Brilliant. Three. Three. Yeah, spray cans. Bags of spray cans. Huge result. There, there's, there's bits of paint all over the bags. It's heavy. Yeah, there's definitely some spray cans in here. No one else is found, but Paul's undercover operation has stopped the trains being covered in graffiti for tonight. We've got a suspect detained now, so makes us feel good. It'll, when I speak to the uh, fleet manager at, uh, at Wagon, he'll be happy, because with any luck, this will stop it. All we've got to do now, straight along, Paul. And up the embankment. Um, all we've got to do now, we'll do a house search, section 18 house search. Gives us the power to go and search the house. Because we've got a digital camera also looking at a computer, so we can see the computer as well. Because he's obviously downloading the images that have been taken onto his computer. So we're looking at for a computer, um, any designs. And of all those photographs, I've got any, any of the photographs we can match up. It was worth sitting in a hut freezing one. Looks off. Just about to make myself a cup of tea too, but there you go. At least I can have a proper toilet to go in. <laughs> the night is not yet over for Paul. He and his team have to go and search the suspect's house. Paul's search was extremely successful. The house was absolutely jammed full of uh, portraits of graffiti. We know he goes out and buys canvas, large five-foot square canvases, and he's got a room set aside in his house. He's got a flat, and in one of the rooms is his spray room, uh, where he just goes in to spray graffiti on these canvases. We found a certain amount of graffiti designs. These are all found in the house. What we'll do, we'll keep these separate now, and he'll be asked on a tape-recorded interview, asked for his answers as why he's got those and what he intended to do with them. Uh, the charges against the graffiti suspect were dropped. He was found guilty only of trespass on the railway and fined £200.